You're welcome back. In this video, we will look at the first item in the partnership agreement, which is the capital to be contributed by each partner in the partnership. All partners in a partnership must contribute capital to the business. The amount contributed by the partners is based on agreement. That means it will be stated in the partnership agreement. Each partner might be required to contribute additional capital should the need arise. The double entry for capital contributed by each partner is the partnership will debit cash or bank account to recognize the money received and they will credit a partner's capital account with the amount contributed by each partner. However, this partner's capital account, the partnership has a choice of maintaining either a fixed capital account or a fluctuating capital account. Under the fixed capital account, the initial capital contributed by each partner is credited to a capital account which is fixed while any item that will increase or decrease the capital contributed is credited or debited to a separate account known as the current account for the fluctuating capital account the initial capital contributed by each partner as well as Items that will increase or decrease the capital will be debited or credited to the capital account, meaning under a fluctuating capital account, they maintain just a capital account that contains everything, the initial capital and all items that can increase or decrease that capital. Items that can increase or decrease capital of a partnership, you will name it. However, for the fixed capital, they have a capital account that is fixed, that only contains the capital that has been contributed initially by each partner. However, any increase or decrease in that capital will be debited or credited to a separate account known as a current account. And that is what we are saying. In the next video, we will look at the second item, in the partnership agreement. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.